Hey and welcome to the demo launch. Today we're going to look at the Lichtlärm Gehenna distortion pedal. Lichtlärm is a Berlin-based company run by mastermind Daniel Ringel. The term Lichtlärm, which is German, translates to excessive noise produced by light. This company quickly gained credibility through the release of their noise gate pedal, Key and the Gate, which garnered a lot of attention. The Gehenna is a high-gain distortion pedal tailored towards rock and metal. You can go from 80s hard rock to raw, brutal death metal to tight modern genty tones. And the sound of the pedal is tailored towards a band mix. That means when you play on your own you might perceive it as not so full and rich, but when you play with other instruments you'll cut through and you'll be right there where you should be. The name Gehenna goes back to biblical days and Gehenna is a valley in Jerusalem where children were brought to be sacrificed in fire and later it became a synonym for hell. For most of this demo I'm going to be using my FGN Expert Elan, which is tuned down to D standard. Then I go into the Gehenna and then into the clean channel of my Ref Generator 120 and from there into my uh, Two Notes Torpedo Studio. I chose this amp because it has a lot of headroom and the clean channel is very clear and focused and also it has my name on it. You can use the Gehenna also as a preamp pedal and just go directly into the power amp section uh, of an amp or an emulation and I'm gonna show you this later too. <laughs> When you look at the pedal, the first thing that sticks out is the very cool and artful visual design in black and silver, which is a trademark of Lichtlärm. The pedal has a three-band EQ with bass, middle, treble, where the bass and treble are passive and the mid actually has an active circuit. You have a level and a gain knob and there's also a three-way switch for different gain levels and structures. You have M Modern. T for tight and V vintage, which is actually modeled after the vintage mode of a Mesa Boogie rectifier. You also have a two-way switch for American and British, which influences the mid frequencies, but only when you scoop the mids. Then the scoop operates at different frequency ranges. The in and outs are at the top of the pedal, as well as the connection for the 9 volt power supply. The pedal is relay based through bypass. It has two silent switches, one for on off and one for the boost. Inside the pedal you can adjust the boost level up to about 20 dB and the boost has an additional low cut, so it doesn't get more muddy. Okay, so let's see what those knobs and switches can do. This is the clean sound. 
this is the pedal engaged and we have bass, middle and treble at 12 o'clock. The uh, gain switch is on the tight setting and the gain is also at noon. Check the treble. The bass. The middle. Now the mids are pretty scooped. They are at like 9 o'clock here. And let's check the British and American settings. This is British. This is the American, so... This, the British is still way more mid-based and the American is a bit more, even more scoop kind of a thing. British. American. Okay, let's stay on the American. We dial back some mids. Pretty much have it at noon again. And let's check the game. Maybe with a low output neck humbucker. Also useful. Gain at noon and all the gain. Okay, let's dial back the gain and go to the modern setting. A bit more thick, I would say. More compressed than the type. Back to modern. And let's check the vintage. Yeah, this is like the fullest, richest, I would say. Looms a bit more and uh, there's more bass. Uh, back to tight and to modern. Okay, now with the boost. Actually, pretty nice for rhythm too. Now we're in the medium, uh, the modern setting, so back to vintage. Boost off. Okay, let's check how this pedal works as a preamp. There's a couple of versions you can do it. You can go straight into the power amp input, so the effect return of an amplifier. You can use, for example, the cap M as an impulse response loader, or you can go straight into the interface, which I'm doing right now, and uh, I'm engaging the two nodes wall of sound software, and I have the power amp section engaged. <laughs> One thing you have to do when you use such kind of pedal uh, into the power amp is you have to crank up the high frequencies. That's just a normal thing. There we go. You can even use this pedal for bass. Right now I'm going from the bass into the pedal and then into the interface and I'm using the um, two nodes wall of sound software for the speaker simulation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you could observe what this pedal has to offer besides the really beautiful artwork. Uh, it's a really amp-like tone, it's really precise, I appreciate that. And you have some stuff to play around with like the different gain structures. 
I think the modern is my favorite and maybe for the mid scoop the British. The boost is a really cool feature and I'm tempted to just leave it on all the time actually. I slightly preferred it to um, as a preamp and this is also very practical because then you just take it with you on the road and just plug it into whatever amp is on stage and use the effect return. If you're interested in this pedal or other pedals offered by Lichtlärm, please check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell. As always, thanks for tuning in to the Demo Launch.